My God, it's so hot. Oh, let me talk louder. My God, it's so hot. I've just drank two beers out at my aqua center. Okay, let me explain to you what I mean, my aqua center. I put up our pool, which is like pretty much a small doughboy pool. It's like 16 by 16 circle. Yeah, it's a swimming pool. I put up this big old, I guess what you call it, like a gazebo thing right next to the pool. And I call it the aqua center. Last year I didn't have an aqua center. I had a pool up in the yard. So this year I have an aqua center. And uh, summer's almost over. Summer to me now is the worst time of my life. It's like some people who lose a relative and the relative dies. Um, the holidays is the hardest part of, you know, what they do. Now, the most work I ever got, or, you know, I'm a seasonal worker, so all the work came during the summertime. So the summertime is when I got the most of my work. And now I don't really have any work at all. I had a dispute with the people at the catering company because somebody believed that I had disrespected another employee. There was a heated argument and one person was crying. It wasn't me. Lost that job. That was the only job that was guaranteed X amount of dollars per year AIX. Once that happened, I fell into a funk, and this funk, you know, I couldn't call the agency because I worked at the temporary agency and this other place. And these two agencies at the same time, or these two places at the same time, made up 50% of my yearly gross. And the other six months of the year, I'd work at this you know county job which I didn't make county pay because I was trying to get permanent status I was a temp so you have to work for a temporary status so politics I earned enough at both these two jobs to pretty much survive during the year okay let's go there and just leave it at that without me going too far into it and then I did not have that county job because of the racial thing. Niggers, you know, blah, blah. You already know that part of the story if you've been watching the saga. If you haven't been watching the saga, let me open my eyes because I have had a beer. Your eyes get a little slob, smaller. Slaw. Your voice gets slightly. No, I haven't had that much. Your eyes do get tighter. You know, you're more relaxed and it's almost like I had like 16 buds and shit smoked 10 months but it's not like that I do not advocate the use of marijuana alcohol or anything that could be deemed illegal or impair human thinking let's keep on going from there disclaimers throughout my video mean nothing because people don't think I'm logical enough to put a disclaimer in the video when I'm coming off not 100% myself but I will do the best I can at 93% plus it's damn near 100 degrees out here and I'm sweating you don't drink when the you do not drink when it's past 85 degrees for simple fact that the human body is not made for alcohol. If it was made for alcohol, it would produce alcohol. Your body's only made for what it produces. The human body produces adrenaline. If they served us adrenaline, they couldn't control us. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this. I have eight minutes left. Oh, no. less than eight. Less than six. Okay. Let me do this. No, I'm not fucked up. I can set her on cue. It's tired and hot. Okay, so let's go ahead. Whatever floats your boat. The real AIX is tired. 
I'm seeing people fight each other for this and that reason. I've lost the reason why I started this video. But now I still am going to pull through and break you off with some proper AIX shit. Even though it's 90 something degrees, I'm hot as hell and I've had three beers. Uh, am I alcoholic? My confession is this. This morning at 9 o'clock in the morning, I opened a beer and I drank this beer. It wasn't until 11 o'clock when I finished this beer. The moral of the story is this, I'd been up since 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 to 9 is 4 hours. If I woke up at 8, that would have been noon to have one beer that lasts for 2 hours. The problem with unemployment is not that a fact that someone is not making money. It's the fact that someone is left with idle time. We've been taught to treat time as if it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to us. But we're slaves to time, like we're slaves to debt, like we're slaves to need. Time is irrelevant for someone who has nothing to do with their time. Time line gets blurred. Someone once told me the older you get, the faster time flies by, and I only have three minutes left on this video. So, the moral of the story today is this. You can try, you can want, and you can need. You can succeed and you can fail. But you are still you. No matter what you do, no matter how far you go, no matter how much you lose to maintain and keep what you got, you still, at the drop of the dime, must conform, change, and rearrange your entire state of mind and yourself and your being. In other words, you can have everything on Monday morning and lose everything the next Sunday night. But the in inevitable fact is that life must still go on. You without nothing is better than you without nothing. If you can understand what I'm saying. The worst part of my day is this. The reality is kicked in that I am losing every single thing that I have worked for. For the last 16 years. Get out of the streets. Stop selling dope. Stop selling flesh. Stop selling life. Stop selling death. Stop selling. Better yourself. Be real. Legitimate. Get a job and be someone. But inevitably. I failed at this task. To take the player out of the game is to have someone sit on the sidelines and commentate and have to worry about what they're going to do tomorrow. To be a player in the game as long as I have been, knowing I got one minute left or less than that, I've gained my spot in the coach's table. I can tell you what is wrong and is right based on my opinion and based on what I've been through, but you can only do what you need to do based on what you think is best for you. But still listen to those who have been there before you and understand this. I have seen where you're going and I've been where you've never thought you would be. And I sit before you losing everything. And I can still say, I'm better than most that have ever came before me. Better than most who will ever die after I have lived and gone. And you can never see what is real till you've been tubed.